So first we're gonna start off with a slip knot. Okay. Then we're gonna make a chain of 16. So one. Two, three, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. Then we are going to make a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So this is the first one, and this is the second one. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, and then pull through all three. And that is a half double crochet. So we're gonna make three more. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, and then pull through all three. So it's one, two, three, and then four, okay? So for in the fifth um, chain, we're going to start our half double crochet because we're going to be changing colors. So we're going to start our half double crochet and then we're going to insert it. Wait, <laughs> we're going to start our half double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, but don't finish it. We're going to switch colors, make it my other color. I'm gonna be using black and change colors. And we're just gonna finish it off with the second color. We're just gonna push that down. Okay. So you can either cut it, which I don't, I wouldn't do, um, or you can just bring it along. So I'm just gonna bring it along and I'm gonna make four I'm gonna do four um, half double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. And on the fifth one, we're gonna start it with the black or color number two, just like we did before. But we're gonna bring the second color, the first color up, so the green. And then we're gonna finish it with that one. And then pull on it, pull on the black. And then we're gonna we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five half double crochets. And we're just gonna keep this the second color behind so that we can just bring it with us so that um we don't have to keep cutting and um we're hiding the color. That makes sense. So one Two, three, four, and five, All right? We're on the fifth one. So we're on the fifth one. And we wanna finish it with that same color since we're doing the checkered print. So we're just gonna finish it off just like that. Okay, then we chain one, and then I'm just gonna bring this one up, and then turn it. So, for the second row, we are going to make five, four half double crochets. So one half double crochet in the next four chains. So one, two, 
two. Three and a four. Right? Okay, so on the fifth one, we are going to start it just like as normal. Bring the second color up and finish it with the second color. And then you just pull it, and then we're gonna um, place four double crochet, one double crochet into the next four with the second color. So, one, two, three, and four. Okay. And then in the fifth one, I'm gonna pull this one. In the fifth one, we're gonna start it, pull through, and then switch colors. So every fifth one, we are going to switch colors. So. I'm gonna do um, one one half double crochet into the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and then four, and then in the last one, we are going to. We're not gonna change colors because we wanna. We want the same pattern, the same pattern for, we're going to do five rows. Okay. One. And then chain one. Turn it, bring this up, but we're going to do half double crochet into the first one. So one, one, I'm going to do it into the next four. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Four, change five. So we're just gonna repeat that for because we did one, two. This would be the third row. We're gonna repeat that for two more rows. So we have a total of five rows. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now I'll meet you guys back. Okay, I'm on the last stitch. So I did one, two, three, four. Okay, this is also what it looks like. I'm sorry, guys. So we have, we're on the fifth row. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we did five, one, two, th one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this is where we're going to change colors on the last um, stitch. Okay, so insert your hook, pull through, and instead of carrying that same color, we're going to carry black. We're going to change colors with the black. Okay, and then chain one. I'm going to turn your work. And then we are going to uh, do the same thing, but instead of the green, we're going to use do the black. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, and then pull through all three. And that is your first stitch. So let's do it again. So yarn over, 
pull it through. I mean, insert your head, pull it through, and then pull it through all threes. Okay? So, one, two, three, four, and the last one will be five, but the last one we're going to change colors just like we did before. Okay? So then we're going to do the green. So one, two, three, four, and then yarn over, and get your hook, pull through, but change colors. Okay. And that is how you get the checkerboard effect. Okay, so we're going to do this pattern repeat for a total of five rows and I will be back to show you when I'm finished with the five rows. Okay, so this is what it will look like after you have done five rows. So we're just going to continue with the pattern. So after you do five rows of um, that one color, you will change colors so that it will be... Um, so you get the checkerboard effect. So after every fifth one, like this one, we're just gonna change colors. So now we're starting with the green. So the green will be, um, the green will be the first color. Okay. So we're gonna do that for a total of 45 rows. So we have five, 10, so we need 45 rows in total. And I will, um, when I'm finished, I will get back with you guys to show you what to do next, okay? Okay, so when you're finished, you're gonna have like a long rectangle just like this. Um, I end up doing 50 rows, um, and that is because I was following my other um tutorial for the like the right the basic one but i did not um make do the ribbed effect with this one so it's less stretchy so i just added um five more rows so moving on <laughs> so i'm just gonna complete this last stitch and then you just chain one okay and I'm just gonna pull that. Just need a little a tail to sew. Um, and you can also cut this one as well. And we are going to just sew this end. We're gonna um, leave in this end. So we don't need it. Oh. Okay. So now you you whatever side that you want the inside the outside to be is what's going to be in the inside if that makes sense. So this is going to be actually my outside because I'm going to turn it flip it inside out. Um so first we need to put the edges. Let me lift this up a little bit so you guys can see a little better. I think that might help. Okay, so first you're going to do this to this edge and then this edge as well. Just fold it in half, basically. So you put it right here and then do like, like that. Okay, so, so put it in half. And as you can see, when you turn it inside out, it's going to look like this. So, we're going to sew these two parts together. Ugh. Okay, so, just like this, hold them together, 
and you just want to make sure that you catch all four of them of the um, the headband so and I'm just gonna go like this make sure I catch it And we're just going to sew them together, all four pieces. So make sure that you're catching all of the pieces. Make sure you're catching all of the edges. You want to do it all the way to the end. All the way to the end. Okay. Then just pull it tight. So this is what it will look like. Then I'm going to knot it. And then I am just going to weave it in. And I'm going to do it on the other side too. You don't have to, but I... I like my stuff to be secure, you know? So I'm just going to also weave it in on the other side. And then I'm gonna cut it. Cut the ex excess, 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 whatever. Um, <laughs> And this is what it will look like in the inside, okay? So, then we're just going to turn it inside out. And now we have a cute little checkered printed um, headband. Look at that, it's so cute! Okay. And this is what the back will look like. So I'm going to also make a matching pair of finger uh, fingerless gloves. This is for an order. So I am so excited for this one. Um, so yeah, if you want to buy one, you can always DM me on social media. Um, but thank you guys for watching. And yeah make sure you watch my fingerless glove tutorial as well um okay bye guys